Hey guys, Rook here, and today I want to go over some things with you guys um, as my channel continues to grow, and the direction I want to go in with this channel. Um, so I just kind of want to do a brief overview of what I'm aiming for, what I'm looking for, what I'm going for, and whatnot. So let's start off with, I'm sure you saw the intro, the new logo. So the new logo comes because I used to have a name called November One Sierra. You can find it in some of my previous videos. And my team that I started here based on Shadow Company gave me the nickname Rook. So I kind of ran with Rook. Um, I came up with November One Sierra myself. I don't know why, I just like the way it kind of just flowed with itself. No clue why. So they gave me Rook, I rolled with it, I was trying to get into streaming and stuff like that, just never really got deep into the streaming stuff and whatnot. So I'm going to go back to November 1 Sierra, plus I've had people message me on my Facebook going, hey, I tried looking you up on Instagram, I can't find you, because they know me as November 1 Sierra and they can no longer find the profile. So Rook is no more, it's November 1 Sierra now. Shadow Company will always kind of be there. Uh, it's just one of those things that I've always liked from Call of Duty. But I'm going to be shifting my focus back to Milsim. As you guys saw, I did do some Marsoc reenactment. And I kind of miss it. And there was some internal affairs with the reenactment team that I did run. So I'm back into Marsoc. But my love for AFSoc has always been there. So I'm going to be doing both. And whatnot so my shift is moving back into reenactment so going forward with my channel it never hurts to have a direction of where you're going granted my channel is small right now but I want to have a direction I want to know what you guys can expect out of me and what you guys will be seeing on my channel starting off sponsors if I get sponsors, great. If I don't, I really don't care. And the reason is, is because I don't want to be backed by sponsors. Even if I have a sponsor, I am going to be brutally honest with the product. I cannot tell you how many times I go into a video and they are sponsored by G&G or Echo One and they say this gun's great and then you get the gun and it's just crap. That's why I give you guys the honest truth when I do my unboxing videos. Another thing you guys can be expecting is more gameplay. This year was a little slow as far as gameplay went. Um, actually, I don't really think I had any other than my Desert Fox event that we went to earlier this year. And that was because that was pretty much the only event I went to. And I had some career changes going on, so I wasn't able to get the time off. Wasn't able to ask for the time off. You know what I mean? So... I will definitely be picking up more on the gameplay and another reason there really isn't much gameplay too is okay here in Arizona when summer hits where I'm at in Arizona we get to an average in summer about 122 degrees on a normal summer day I'm not kidding up and playing and getting heat exhaustion so just a little more of a heads up I will be getting more gameplay in one thing you guys can always expect from me is going to be obviously more reviews, more stuff I order, the more reviews you guys are going to get. So, and I'm constantly ordering things. I'm always looking on the market for what's coming out, what's on sale, you know, just all kinds of different things. I do want to get more guns in. I do have a couple guns lined up. Uh, there's an AMK Masada that I want to get just because I have always loved the ACRs. And then there's the VFC 416 A5 that I do want to get as well. So yeah, I have all these things somewhat lined up. It's just getting them. And that's all I'm waiting on. So of course, you guys are going to have more reviews, whether it's gear, guns, accessories. You will always get more of that out of me. So one thing I would really like to do is load out reviews. I did a Marsoc loadout review a while back. It has good feedback. 
And then I did an updated version, which didn't get so much good feedback. And that's because that's when Marsock was seen in multicam and was brand new to the scene with multicam. And everyone has this tunnel vision of Marsock using M81 and Woodland, same camos by the way. And yeah, they were not fond of the multicam. So I would like to do more loadout reviews. Maybe when I get my PJ kit done, I'll do a loadout review on that as well. Um, if I go to an op, I would like to, you know, maybe do a post op loadout review. Um, just to kind of give you guys an overhead of what I used at the op or and stuff like that. Another thing I've always wanted to do is build a kit with you guys in a sense. Say I nail this PJ kit Maybe we can do one like, hey, let's start here and we'll do updates as we go along, as we order things and kind of just build a new kit. Um, but we'll see where that goes. Not sure. It's still up in the air, but that is definitely something I would love to do. Okay, so I've gotten this question quite a bit on some of the comments on my video. Open up the gearbox. Go look at the MOSFET. You know, check the wiring. What kind of motors it got? While some of this stuff is very simple to see and do, guys, one thing I don't do is tech work. Every gearbox I have ever opened, I have never successfully put back together. I remember the first gearbox I opened, it was a King's Arms M4, like their MOE M4A1 rifle that they had. I opened the gearbox and the spring shot out because I didn't know that's what happened. So yeah, like, even changing out a spring, so most of the time, our tech goes with us to ops. So I just go ahead and have him even do the quick spring change on my guns, which I have taken over and done it more often myself. It's just, I don't like messing with stuff because for some reason it seems when I touch it, it breaks. So that's usually why when I get a gun, I will run it stock. I will run it into the ground. Then I'll do upgrades. Then I'll get to the tech i'll do some of the tech work you know stuff like that so but as far as doing tech work on videos and stuff like that that is a no bueno it's not happening i'm sorry so as you guys know my videos are this overlay of my voice while you watch videos essentially what you're seeing filmed i'm basically just narrating well, I kind of want to step away from that. Except for reviews, I'm going to stay with it because I like how clean the reviews come out. I like how solid they are. But I want to do open box reviews. I want to do like follow-up reviews, uh, mystery boxes, and stuff like that. So that's going to require me to have a camera. I'm going to have to sit and talk to you guys in the camera, which I have no problem with. I actually have a room being set up right now. It's got camouflage netting as my backdrop. My guns are hanging off to the right if you're looking through the camera. And a couple things I'm gonna get ordered is a stabilizer for the camera. I already have a tripod. I'm gonna get a microphone so that way it's not echoey and stuff like that. So stuff is on the way. Oh, also in grabbing some lighting so that way everything's not like shadowy and stuff like that. So all that is being ordered, it is being put together so I can start doing, like I said, the mystery box and whatnot and kind of stop doing the overlays for voice. But like I said, it, it will stay for reviews because the reviews come out clean, they come out solid, so they will be staying for that. Another thing I would like to do later in the future as we get bigger, as it expands, is giveaways. As I'm ordering this gear, there is some gear that just sits there. I think I have like three or four plate carriers that are just sitting in the closet right now. I have three TMC Coyote Brown AVSs that are not being used. So yeah, as I order this stuff, some of the stuff's just going to sit there and not get used. So I think it would be great to give back to the community as giveaways, you know, maybe maybe the giveaway would go to a kid that's just starting out and he gets his first play carrier and stuff like that 
So, you know, I think that'd be really cool. I would like it to the point where I am able to give away guns, uh, other gear, you know, just stuff like that, get bigger, kind of give back to the community and whatnot. So, but again, that's future projects. We'll see where that goes. So another thing I want to bring up is what do you guys want to see on the channel? I know I'm pretty small, but it never hurts to have feedback from others. What do you guys feel this channel needs or do you think the channel's on a good path? You guys are my viewers. You guys are the community. So what you guys say helps me, gives me feedback, gives me criticism, and I learn off that feedback. I learn off that criticism. So when you guys are engaging in my videos, you guys are subscribing. It is an amazing feeling because it's you guys are using my videos as a source of knowledge. I've been airsofting for 14 years and I never thought I'd be able to apply this anywhere. And now that I can see people actually using this knowledge to help make decisions, it, it's a pretty good feeling. Now, going straight out, I'm not just some YouTuber that just wants to make a quick buck off you guys and go, hey, my videos are making me money, blah, 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 this, this, and that. I want to be an airsoft celebrity. That is not the case whatsoever. I want to give back to the community. Uh, Wag Entertainment. Great guy. I mean, that guy walks around and literally gives people guns out on the field. That That's someone I can look up to. That's someone I can appreciate. C7 Viper. When he orders a mystery box, he uses a whole different address and a different name. So there's no favoritism. So someone's not like, oh, it's C7 Viper. Give him a good box. So that way he can say good stuff about us. No. Then I hear like some YouTubers that go, well, I'm not making any monetization off this video. Well, is that the only reason you're making videos? Do you really even go out and play? Or do you play just so you can get more monetization for gameplay because you just want to make money off this? Because if you're in this for the money making, you're in airsoft for the wrong reasons. And that's the toxicity that this community does not need. As toxic as airsoft already is, that's the last thing we need. So yeah, again, I just want to be truthful. I want to be honest, you know. If I get a sponsor, great. If I don't get a sponsor, I don't care. Because even if I get a sponsor and say it's Cork Gear or TMC, and I go, hey, TMC, I got your item. It's pretty messed up. I do a review on it, and they pull their sponsorship. I'm not going to care because it's about giving you guys truthful information. I am so tired of misrepresentation of items in this community because someone's either an elitist and goes cry or die. This stuff's crap, so don't buy it. Or you have some guy that's like, yeah, this is really good stuff. By the way, I'm sponsored by them and you should buy them. And then you get it and it's actually crap. It's all about giving you guys the honest truth. That's what I want to do. That's my main goal for this whole channel. So now that you guys have got to hear me just talk, 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 I want to leave this video on a good footnote and I want to tell you guys for the people that are subscribing, for the people that are engaging in my videos, even if you're not subscribing, even if you're just commenting on the videos, watching my videos, I appreciate you guys very much. I, I really do. Airsoft for me is a passion. It has always been a part of my life since, oh God, sixth grade. And I have done nothing but want to make a successful impact on the community. And I feel like moving forward, I can do just that. So without further ado, guys, I appreciate you guys. I thank you guys. And until next time. November 1 Sierra out.